What are some of the rules that your family has? There's three. There's three. Don't be an asshole. Don't be an asshole. Don't be a goddamn asshole. <laughs> if you broke three, you really screwed up. Well, yeah, and we all have. We all have. <laughs> been a family thing with me just making music with whoever was around and uh, have your kids up there doing a good job with you now that's that's as good as it gets <laughs> look at the mic oh, they're completely different and yet the same Luke's guitar playing, I hear a lot of my licks coming back at me a lot better than they went out. <laughs> Michael's a great musician, he plays everything, you know, he can, uh, he can play a, a fiddle bow on a guitar and make it sound pretty cool, you know. Now, uh, we're lucky, they're really good musicians. They just kind of set instruments around the house and there was never any, like, pressure to do any of it, but... We just one day picked it up naturally and it felt right, so we kept doing it. They were always supportive and encouraging. I started playing at like three uh, on stage, playing harmonica, and Luke would play percussion back then. And then one day he picked up the guitar and I said, oh, I'll play the drums. And we just kind of taught each other by jamming and playing with dad on the road. Here we are now, it's kind of never stopped doing that. We used to listen to Hank and Django pretty much on repeat. He taught us a bunch of Django songs uh, early on, and Django like the... What kind of a dad are you, Willie? Probably, you know, uh, a lot of people would think not a very good one because I've been gone most of the time when the boys were growing up and they you know, had their mother there and I wasn't there. So well, there's a, those situations and, uh, you know, but that's just the way it is. That's what I do and now that's what they're doing. So uh, the things that I've been experiencing as they live longer and have families, they'll realize, you know, what it all, you know, means and what it's all about. That's his interpretation. Ours and how they grew up was, this is a good example of what it means to come here and do what you came here for. You know, we were with him a lot, so they got the best education on the planet. They got to be everywhere in the world and play with people all over the world. So they didn't ever have any problems. And even when he was gone, that's what dad did. And But when he was home, he was home. So he had that advantage. And anytime somebody would try to make them feel different about it, the defense was, this is our normal. It was just our normal. It, it bothered him more than it bothered them. Any uh, advice that you guys remember getting from your dad or that you remember giving them? Stay out of the trees. Keep your legs crossed and your nose clean. And stay out of trees. Stay yeah. out of the trees. Well, we've got oh a lot God. of jokes. How, yeah. What is this show rated? Yeah. Uh, it's, 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 it's family <laughs> friendly. Yeah. Well, we, we used to get, like, my mom would get calls from the principal's office at school, when we were in elementary school, saying, your boys have been spreading these jokes around school. They're inappropriate. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I don't know where they're hearing this stuff. Uh, uh, yeah. You know, they need to tone it down. I remember, I remember one time we got in trouble for that. Dad, you picked us up from school one day, and we told you you got in trouble, and you're like, oh, really? Huh? You want to hear a limerick? <laughs> <laughs> Billy Roy the Captain. Yeah. Got dirty little ripper. Lined his ass with broken glass and circumcised the skipper. skipper. <laughs> that was like the cleanest. Yeah, that was the cleanest oh. one. <laughs> well, a, a lot of different things have uh, made us be together more, like cutting the album. We got to hang out a lot together then. and. Uh, Whenever they're here, it's great, and uh, whenever they're not, we kind of look forward to the next time. It gives us something to uh, look forward to. The record's called Willie and the Boys, and it's uh, we do a lot of traditional country stuff in there that I think a lot of Luke's fans and Michael's fans will be introduced to. Kind of like the old Stardust record when we did that originally. A lot of people had ever heard of, a, of uh, a Hank Williams' Mind Your Own Business, you know, and uh, Can I Sleep in Your Arms Tonight, Lady, all them great old country classics. 
idea about a fourth time playing it ever. <laughs> and I sleep in your arms tonight, lady. It's so cold lying here all alone. And I have no hold to hold on you. stage I mean I I look at our lives and I think well what what could be better than what we have here you know and I think that we're really lucky and I try not to ask too many questions to hold on you I assure you I'll do you know 